name is Darren Wyan and I am a regional sales manager here at Tico. I've actually been with the company for uh, almost 27 years. So Tico's roots go back to the mid-1920s when Mr. Tietzman, who was the owner of Tietzman Tool Company, recognized a need for standardized tooling components and jig and fisher components that people were using in the shop. So out of that, he ended up um, actually manufacturing a line of just standard jig and fixture components. Then in 1975, Tico was actually incorporated. And from there today, now we have an expansive line of work holding for virtually about any type of machining application. More recently, we acquired the Raptor Work Holding Company, and that has allowed us to expand our offering uh, to five axis machining. Our Airvice Work Holding is another company that we acquired just last year, and that has really kind of helped us get into the automation market. Some of our current product lines that we uh, manufacture are our Tool X Vices, Spring and Ball Plungers, CMM Fixturing is another product line that we have. Our single station vices are one of our core items that we supply to the market, which does have a lot of applications also with the Flex machine as well. Everything that we're currently processing on the Flex right now are T-nuts. Um, I would say it's probably our largest volume part. The dimensions range from about 3 8 tall to 9 16 wide, and then we'll go up to 2 and a half inches wide and about inch and 3 quarters tall. And always a 12 foot long uh, bar. Everything comes in at 12 foot and is processed at 12 feet. So we were rocking like a 1950s uh, Rockford planer. We had to make our own inserts. Uh, the machine was so old. Our setup process was dicum and an eyeball. So you almost had two sacrificial bars at the beginning of every job to try to get everything tweaked in. We would end up tying up machines at the other end of the shop, making inserts to use this old machine. The hydraulic system kind of was going bad and it was uh, just about as expensive to replace that as it was to buy a new machine. So that's the decision that we made. Process was spectacular. You guys actually took some of our materials, set it up on the machine in-house there, uh, processed it, basically proved out functionality that this would work for us. And uh, yeah, worked out real well. Ideally, when we're looking to replace a machine, it's first and foremost being able to buy tooling. That was a huge deal for us, to just be able to get something off the shelf, pop it into the machine and run. From there, uh, repeatability is what we're looking for. And it's a T-nut. So finish is something that we're worried about, but on a planer, it's peeling the material away. So right now we've got a nice, smooth, decent looking finish on all of our T-nuts. Setups were a big deal for us. All the tooling had to come off the old machine. You had to change everything over every time you changed. Now it is plug and play. Uh, as long as that bar has been run before on that machine, you toss it up there, you clamp it down, cycle start, you're ready to rip. So we went from hour, hour and a half changeover every time we switch sizes to about 30 seconds loading the program up, hit cycle start. For information about our products for Tico, you can go to www.tico.com and that's te-co.com. For Raptor, it's www.raptorworkholding.com. And for Airvice products, it's www.airvice.com.